Hello friends, welcome to the another video tutorial. In this tutorial, I will show you how to configure trends in Delta HMI. Watch the full video for better understanding. And kindly hit the subscribe button and support my work. Let's start the tutorial. So open Delta HMI software. So it is, we all know Delta HMI software is DOP soft. So I am opening DOP soft. I have version 4.06 you can use any version yeah. so go to file create new file I am going to take 107 CV you can select as per your model number next here you need to select your PLC uh, protocol type and all okay so uh, as per your application you have to select here PLC and all so I will now I will keep it as a default just click on finish okay we have this screen here and this is screen one so now we will add one trend here so before that we need to have some settings so let's first go to option configuration go to control walk okay here you can see sampling history before you need to just enable this and clearing history buffer okay just check this on so in your application you might have screen number general control cover control recipe control okay you can select all of these as per your application okay let's say suppose we have selected all these so remember one thing you can't use these registers even a program in your PLC program okay so for another application right so these registers will be reserved for this all this application so click on ok let's create some history setup so go to options history buffer setup click on this plus icon so add new buffer ok so let's take address here let's suppose uh, we have d100 ok so suppose uh, if you have uh, three quantities to uh, show on graph then let's take uh, uh, read length here three okay so we are going to three uh, see uh, we are going to show three quantity on graph three quantity means uh, three parameters if uh, you can have uh, pressure you might have temperature and let's say suppose uh, one more temperature okay so we are taking three quantities here okay so just uh, select first address so it will uh, so you need to just take another uh, next three address here so 100 is for first quantity 101 is for second quantity and 103 for third quantity okay then just uh, click here non volatile then add a soft okay so here uh, sample number uh, let's take 100 suppose or 1000 this is sampling cycle so this is 100 millisecond by default okay so just click on stamp rate and okay yeah so now just go to screen so first we will take three numeric input here so we'll have a numeric entry So give the address first address is 100 so give the d100 here you need to use uh, next three subsequent address i will just copy and paste this address here so write address is 100 d100 and read address is d100 click on ok this is first quantity so i will just copy paste we will modify the address that is 101 this is second quantity and this one is third yes, 102 yeah. just save the backup so suppose you have these three parameters and we need to uh, we need to show the trend for this three parameter yeah. 
so you can see here this is curve or this is history curve or you can go to element in sampling just take historical trend graph drag and drop here okay go to properties so now here you can see we have number of three curves so we will select here three then let's go to details here okay you can see here history buffer setup we have already set up for this history buffer okay so you need to just enable this so i will just you need to put one here so this means all three trends are enabled now in start position first one will be the zero second one will be the one and third one will be the two okay. so this is curve uh, curve color this curve color so for first let's say suppose blue for second we will take red and for third one we will take a different color so let's take uh, green yeah uh, just show the uh, let's say uh, show the time format date format display time okay so you can see here now you can able to see the three curve here okay so uh, let's show the scale this side so go to global range click on global range here you can define your range of temperature or pressure so suppose 0 to 100 and in scale setting let's display on left so now you can see here it will show scale on left side So just uh, now let's turn on simulation. Okay, it's very fast. So just we will minimize the speed. So go to history setup edit here this is sampling cycle so it is now 100 milliseconds so let's keep it as a one second that is 1000 millisecond so it means uh, it will show it will collect the data on every second now again let's start the simulation okay so simulation started so if I click here, you can see here 0, 0, 0 value. So let's put suppose here 20. So now you can see first one is showing 20. If I click here, you can see here 20, 0, 0. Means first, 12, uh, first one is suppose temperature is 20, pressure is 0 and third uh, second temperature is 0. Suppose take here 40. let's take here 50 yeah you can see all three dia three graphs are showing so if i click anywhere so it will show the time and date of that particular point suppose i click here so it will show the time and the, here you can see time and date and these are the values 20 40 50 so let's suppose 30 and here from this you can you can see previous value and here current value so in this way you can configure the trends in delta hmi thank you friends thank you for watching this tutorial if you like this tutorial and for more tutorials please subscribe to our channel thank you